welcome back. Um, so, we're going to do why is this so complicated today. So, we are doing, 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 number one and number two. So, why is this so complicated? Let's hope that camera does not fall. Why is this so complicated? Deck number one, deck number two, pick a deck. It's obviously to do with you and your person, um, because we are a romance channel, so have a think about you, think about them. Uh, we are going from the heart centre, so feel where that pull is from your heart chakra. Deck number one and deck number two. Three, two, one. Okay, can you tell me please, can we get into the collective's energy of deck number one? Deck number one. Got Avril Lavigne. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? It's probably because of the title though. Um, okay, so as always, as you know, this is where it's some of the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I nip into your energies, I nip into your people's energy. Think about your person. Can you get into their energy, please? Can you uh, destroy and uncreate that block, please? Just got a little block getting into their energy. Their energy, thanks. Uh, and their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. One more. Best out of three, my guide, so. Shuffling. Okay. Can you tell me why this is so complicated? Why is this so complicated? What is the reason? For this being so complicated reasons so again it doesn't matter how many decks we use because it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all and when we work with mutual energies it's irrelevant of situations because if you do it properly i know it's a pain to watch the shuffling but you get your energy in the cards so it's cool it's cool okay, five. why is this so complicated yeah, what? Okay, right, my guy has just said, can you do me a favour? And I'm like, yeah, what? And he said, can you tell them all, please, that there's divine intervention at play? So a lot of you that are getting really frustrated with the situation and feel like it's not moving forward, um, again, trust your own intuition. I know I said about this in the last readings and things, trusting about your own clairvoyance, your own images, your own thoughts, your own feelings. But there is more at play here than you are aware of, and they know you're frustrated. A lot of them are saying, please don't shout at us. Sorry. But they are, they're saying, please don't shout at us. We're doing the best we can, but there is only so much that we can do before it has to go above our heads and divine intervention has to take play. So my guide is saying, can I please make you all aware that divine intervention is at play with this deck, deck number one. Try not to get frustrated. Hit your pillow a few times. I know we all shout at our guides. I definitely shout at mine. Um, but obviously I work with them like all the time. Um, but they don't they don't take it to heart or anything like that because they know that we're living a human life. But they do need to make you aware that divine intervention is at play and it's really important that you know that. Because no matter what space, time um, and restrictions that there are in this 3D element that we're living on and the higher dimensions and the frequencies that, are work, that we work with in the higher dimensions, things are at play that you are not fully aware of. And once you do become aware of that, you will become aware of it because it will transpire, they're saying, to the 3D. So please just be aware of that, okay? So what's happening? Um, why is it so complicated? Firstly, because it is a divine relationship and divine intervention is at play, seeing as I got, I got stopped in my tracks to tell you all that. Um, now on a 3D level, there's a lot of uh, feelings of kind of entrapment that are happening at the moment. Now it feels actually that it's more you guys that are feeling stuck because nothing's real, you don't feel like anything is happening. And because of that, you're then getting frustrated because you want it all to be happening in the here and now. And it just isn't quite, it isn't, it isn't doing it. It's not happening at the speed you want it to. So Spirit is saying that you need to be aware of patience. Now we have the helix on this card as well. Um, and also these symbols, they do kind of remind me a little bit of um, voodoo. 
some of the voodoo symbols, isn't it? Not that I do it, but I was just seeing some of the symbology of it. it that probably isn't voodoo, but it reminds me of it. Um, and it's what they're saying with that is that this is they're going back to the ancient practice of, of um, spiritual stuff and it goes back through time. This relationship is one that's transpired through time after time after time after time, which is why they're showing me the symbology of the symbols. And this helix is in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and you're feeling like you're heavily burdened and you're feeling very, very stuck by this divine relationship. You're kind of thinking, well, because it's a divine relationship, I can't do anything about it. That's equally not true. Um, you, you have your free will, you make your decisions, you make your choices, um, and so please make sure that you are choosing what is right for you, you know, if you're not happy in a situation, it's always time to kind of reassess it, if you're happy, go, go forward and multiply or whatever, but if you're not happy, then it's really time to reconsider what you want, because you are the own person in charge of your own life, and whether it's a divine connection or not, you are in charge of that. Now, people that say if you're intimate with someone else, it pauses it, are talking a load of rubbish, okay, that's not true. That's not true. It might be that it's a karmic partner that comes into your life, but even so, it doesn't matter because you've got free will and the outcome will still be the same um, if it's destined to be, you know? Like you, like I say to you, you have certain things that are predestined. So, for example, if you're going to be together and have a marriage and things like that, but who you marry, when you marry them, etc., etc., is all down to you. So don't let the fact that it's a divine, like a divine relationship secure you into place, you know? You can go and have a divine, like a, a soulmate relationship or a karmic relationship or date away if that is what you want. I wouldn't recommend getting a karmic. I wouldn't manifest one of them because they, they're always a bit painful. But um, don't let that secure you into place and make you feel stuck. Okay, because a lot of you are also kind of over-researching it. You know, you're thinking, right, to inflame, research, 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 and you're, you're, everything you're reading, you're taking on as facts. But a lot of it is, um, Spirit saying, it's interpreted by human beings, it's interpreted by us and how we see things. Um, yes, a lot of it will be accurate, but a lot of it um, is people's points of view and opinions on it, and that is then securing you into place and thinking, oh, well, we're going to be together because all twin, twin flames are meant to be together. Not true, not true. A lot of the times with twin flame journeys, um, you know, it's not about the end destination, it's about the journey, and it's about self-love, and a lot of the time, some people have said to me, and me myself, you know, included, twin flame journey is often about finding the strength in yourself to love yourself more with unconditional love for yourself than them and walk away so that it can come back around together later on, myself included. Um, so don't let that hook you into place, don't let that overcomplicate it. You know, if you're watching tarot reading after tarot reading after tarot reading after tarot reading and doing cards after cards after cards after cards or research, 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 what you're doing is clogging up your own energy and you're not letting time to process it so your own mind can make up its mind and what feels right in your soul. You know, we, we can't fit into a mould of what people expect it to be. You, your soul is your soul. You choose what you want to choose and if something someone says doesn't suit with you, doesn't resonate then you don't take it on board so someone's saying something about twin flames that doesn't resonate even if it's me don't take it into your energy you know because it's not right for you if it feels like you're repelling it then then that's it really so don't let that complicate it don't get a million points of view over one thing when you can get the answer yourself basically divine interventions at play uh what else what else third parties my little third party followers um, and if that isn't physical third parties, that is uh, fears of third parties. So um, that's coming into this. That is complicating things. Children, um, stability, security, earthly things. A lot of your people, if they are involved with someone else, they aren't aware of the kind of divine connections, which is why divine intervention is at play. Um, so they're kind of taking a step back from that energy. They'll be focusing. Well, they'll be f focusing on this with kids. Uh, a lot of kids or for the stability and security it isn't to do with the person they are with don't put energy on the person that they are with because if you do that you're manifesting them take that energy back to you and them from the process of unconditional love for this relationship to move forward and get them back or get them to you okay that will automatically complicate things on a 3d level it will it will so um no stress no drama just take away from that you know focus on unconditional love and um, what else is interfering with that the conflicting energies about them working out what they want um 
acting a bit like a idiot, <laughs> like the last reading, a bit like a jerk, backwards and forwards, um, unsure, uncertain, a bit confused, whatever's been going on in their earthly logical head, that kind of energy there. What else is complicating it? The fact that they've got this conflicting energy and then the other side, they want new beginnings and happiness with you. So this is complicating it as well. This is just the muddle up within their head, within their brain, the two sides of it, the fear side, the love side, the repelling magnets, um, universal energies as well. Over complicating it. A lot of you are overthinking the situation. Um, you're adding two and two and making 30 without knowing facts. Don't let your imagination go crazy on you. Now, I know I say about um, picking out what's imagination, what's clairvoyance, etc, etc. But if you just trust in your imagination with it, you're going to add two and two and make 30. Especially when you're alone um, at night time, if it's quiet. That's our period of weakness, isn't it? That's when you're like, oh, I want to text you, I want to call you, I want to do this, I want to do that. No, 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 no. Stick in your power, okay? Don't overthink it. Unless you know it as facts, don't uh, create facts of your own because that will complicate it as well. And, you know, and that will then frustrate spirit as well, like they were saying, because they're trying to talk to you, trying to give you the answers that you need and, and you get them and you settle down. And the next minute later, you're like, oh, but why did he do this? And why did they say that? And what, sorry, lads, I always do that. Why did they say this? Why did they act like that? Blah, 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 blah. And we, and we start going and we're going. And the next thing you know, we're like, well, they, they could be running away and getting married at Gretna Green and everything like, that. Gretna Green's a place in, uh, in England where people elope to, to get married. They used to anyway, back in the Victorian days. Um, okay, I went off on one then. But that's over complicating it as well, your thought process and overthinking and the need for self-protect, trying to self-protect it, trying to self-protect the relationship. Don't be frightened about people's opinions on it. They are just people's points of view. If you're worried about telling your best mates and things like that, don't 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 tell them as much as what you feel you should. Don't overcomplicate it. I know it's hard and I know you want to talk to people about it. A lot of the time when we're talking about it, we're kind of pressing pause on it as well because we talk about it in a negative light, because especially, especially as women, and I'm not being gender uh, typical or stereotypical, I'm not being that, but as women or female energies, we talk about things, okay, to, to get them off our chest. Um, and that isn't just us, that's the, the males of you that are female energies, etc, etc. We talk about things um, and the opposite side of this spectrum is they process things, they retreat to process. Now that's just psychological stuff. That isn't, um, th that's the psychological differences between the male and female energies. Um, so when we talk about things, what we end up doing is kind of pressing pause on it because we start talking about it in a negative light because we don't want to sit there and tell our mates, well, you know, I love him and I think he's wonderful for treating me the way he has and because we don't. So just be aware when we talk, you talk about it to kind of simplify it a little bit. Try to simplify it in your head. No divine intervention is at play. On the other side of things, yes, there are earthly situations that are complicating this. However, with divine intervention, just choose what makes you happy. And if you're not happy, reconsider it work out what you want and the outcome is most likely still going to be the same whether you go off and date or whether you stay put and give them time the outcome will still be the same so just choose what makes you happy don't overcomplicate it don't number one why is it complicated because it's divine and you're overcomplicating it yourselves oh bush okay let's do that number two i've only used this deck once before i'm not ever reading i haven't used them yet Okay, let's go, let's go. Can you get me? So, as always, we're working. I have to do it this way. These are huge. The difference in size. Um, okay, can you get me into my deck number two's energy, please? So, as always, we'll work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Think about your persons, we dip into your energies, we dip into your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest meets your energy between you all. Sounds like a song every time I say that, doesn't it? I've just got uh, from the musical My Fair Lady, I could have danced all night. Um, not entirely sure why we've got that yet, but we'll work it out. Okay, can you tell me why this is so complicated? Okay, taking the spirit of saying, I'm asking why we've got that song. They're saying to take it back to the essence of what it really is. And choosing, again, keeping your vibration high. 
Why is this so complicated? So, um, three, four. Okay, it's complicated because it's not going at the speed that you want it to. And it's also complicated because they're not communicating with you what's going on in their heads and their hearts. Those are two main reasons to begin with why it is so complicated. So you've got, um, one side of things you have the Knight of Pentacles which is making his slow movements towards you. Here he is, he's back again, he hasn't been here for a while. Um, he's not actually on a horse, he's standing there like ready to dance again. Dance all night, masculine energy at the top. It's complicated um, because it's not going at the speed that you would hope it to. Okay, um, and the other side of things, why it's complicated is because they're not communicating with you what's actually going on in their head. So you've got the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, so they and the Seven of Swords as well. So this is them not being honest with you about what's actually thinking, what they're actually feeling. Uh, some of them are turning their back on you, holding on to heartbreak and also holding on to not making a choice. You're in the background wanting partnerships, wanting to find relationships or relationships as a whole and that you feel that they've turned you back on you um, and no matter how much screaming and standing there screaming that you're doing um, you're feeling very very stuck at this moment in time which is why you've got the hanged man okay and they're not expressing to you how they're feeling page of swords watching what you're doing there seeing what you're up to um, which then is give, kind of giving you a few mixed messages if they're liking your social media and things like that you're thinking well they're not making these moves quick enough but then they're doing something really like bizarre like liking my social media like why are they doing that why haven't they contacted me why are they liking that that kind of energy coming forward and that's complicating things they're feeling alone and isolated and you are too um feeling a little bit abandoned <coughs> um also in self-protect and that self-protect mode is complicating things as well um, it feels like there's a big block of ice between the two of you that's got to kind of melt and at the moment it's kind of half melting and then being rebuilt like freezing over and melting um, again that kind of energy is coming through okay so feeling alone feeling isolated not quite communicating with you what's going on you're then getting these fears as well spirit saying that there is lying and um deceit now some of you yes that is the case but you will know that that is the case or you'll have that feeling in your gut instinct that something isn't quite right um and with that you know of course it's going to complicate things you'll be aware largely majority of you, you will be aware of what this deception would be so again it could be third parties that again i said that in depth one that can complicate the situation but that's obvious that it can complicate it the other side of things that are complicating things is that they love you and that you love them and love is never easy real love is never easy true love is never easy is it worth it yes you know, I, I always say this to people, um, you know, what I love about love, I always say, you know, I've said before, well, hate don't hurt, well, love don't hurt, deception and lying and betrayal, all of that hurts, but actually, you go through it all and you go through all that pain and you go through all that suffering, but when you feel ready, you go and lay your heart on the line because it was all worth it. Now, I'm not a romanticist at all, at all. I'm actually not that romantic in myself, I'm not a very romantic girl, I am with the right person, with my divine counterparts, I am counterpart I am um but without the right person I'm not actually that romantic I have my walls up I have that masculine energy which I take on um I struggle to talk about how I feel really badly and I withdraw you know so I can kind of see it from both sides I am the, I balance my yin and yang energies now though because I'm really quite far down the journey but love will complicate it okay well the parts that come with love will complicate it also because you're feeling like you're at a standpoint because no choices and decisions are being made so you're feeling like you're stuck in murky waters the bat you know i've just realized this bat is hanging upside down now bats sleep normally upside down so shouldn't the bat actually be that way around for the hangman no bat is hanging upside down feeling quite trapped um but actually, you're kind of where you need to be with the bat being that way. You are actually where you need to be. It feels like you're not, but you are feeling a little bit blinded. But the union, the masculine feminine energies are meeting at the middle. You've got to let the light, lightning, light in. 
let spirit take control. Well, you know, let the universe take control. God, whatever, whatever you pray to, etc., etc. Okay, faith. Keep your faith. Um, one of you has just lost a black tourmaline cross necklace, actually. It has slipped down the back of your drawers. Sorry, just got to throw it out there. Just saw it really clearly. Uh, you've got meditation, wheel of fortune and victory. So meditation, this hasn't got a number on it and I don't know this deck well enough yet. So this is going to be literally a meditate. Please, can you do some cleansing rituals, some meditation rituals, bring in what you want to you, rituals or meditation, sorry. Letting go meditation so it can come. Uh, I wouldn't do moving on meditations unless you feel you want to, but you've got to release the situation for it to come back round. Any uh, divine intervention meditations, if you can find them, connecting up with spirit guides, um, anything like that that you can do by yourself, get going on it. Rather than researching all about divine relationships, go beyond that um, and have a look at what's actually happening yourself. Go have a look at the Akashic records, you know, everything, any self-work you can do, self-development will help you, um, rather than glowing on fixating on divine relationships. You get what you want in the end, um, and the Wheel of Fortune will turn in your direction. It's just a slower process with it being a Knight of Pentacles. And that is what's complicating it for debt number two. Just heard really clearly, when there is a will, there is a way, and also this too shall pass, both sides of it. Uh, both sides of the coin for debt one and debt two. Those are mutual energy for you. Um, whether debt one is still listening or not, you can have your message now in a way. Um, just got a song as well, but I don't know it. It was saying the lyric was something like about shining a light on. Um, I don't know what that is. I'll have to Google that afterwards. I'll try and find it. If I haven't done it, um, I'm sure all you lot will. It's something about shining your light on. Okay, that's it. So, if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to find me on Instagram, it's just mysticlovetarot. I'm a bit rubbish at writing my Instagram messages. Email is definitely the best way to get hold of me. Uh, and, 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 that's it. Love you lots. Speak to you soon. Bye.